Salutations, friends. It's his eye, said Stevie. And got a delivery from Amazon. Uh, let's get into it. Uh, unboxing knife is going to be the Rosecraft Blade uh, Pocket Monster. Uh, getting used to this thing. Um, this little guy here, uh, designed by Swags. I just figured I would carry it for a couple days, see what I like about it. Got it in from the Apex Group. It's already, well, I'll reserve my thoughts for it, but it's uh, it's a little sharp, and it's already opened me up a couple times. But um, the remnants of this package here, uh, one, I got too many. I accidentally doubled up on my uh, order. So I don't know what I'm going to be doing with all these, but... Uh, very interesting. Um, do we have them labeled at all? Uh, yes, we do. Uh, so these are obviously from, uh, Sendcut. I meant to order two, like I said, but I, uh, doubled up on my order, so I got four. Uh, but this is the new Ferrum Forge designed Sendcut, uh, Kyrill. Um, comes in a couple of different flavors. I ordered, uh, two to do some blade swaps so I could get the variant that I wanted. So let's see here. Uh, all right, we're gonna take a look at that one. And then we're gonna take a look at, they're not labeled on the uh, packages. So I don't know which one is which. Aha, perfect. All right. So we'll move those off uh, to the side here. So uh, send cut. Uh, Savivi Wee's uh, budget line um, comes with, uh, you know, looks like a, a Wii uh, release. Uh, you got a, a sticker in here of a, I don't know what model of Sun Cut that is, uh, wiping cloth and a Sun Cut sticker uh, inside this little pouch. Uh, same uh, on that one. So, uh, yeah. They, it comes in a Jade uh, G10 stonewashed variant, a blacked out uh, G10 variant, and then a blacked out Micarta variant. And I want Micarta with a stonewashed blade and matching hardware, so I ordered two. I'm going to do a blade swap, give the other one away, and I'll figure out whatever I'm going to do with the other ones. But uh, let's take a look at uh, the uh, black washed one here first. All right, so a uh, very uh, small uh, slender knife. Uh, you can already see there is the Ferrum Forge Design uh, Maker's Mark. The only reason why I purchased this knife. Uh, it looks to be a flipper only. I don't, oh, no, it looks like I might be able to middle finger flick that. Let's just check. Haha, -ha, I can. So, uh, you see that big send cut billboard on there. Um... Yeah, uh, I think this is coming in. Can I do it on this one also? No, not so much on the on the uh, stone wash blade. So it does have a flipper as well. But you're looking at a uh, three point one nine inch blade and a uh, four point one two inch handle. Uh, you got a nice choil so you can choke up here. It's not the most ergonomically friendly uh, design, I gotta say. Um, this. Uh, flipper tab is a little pokey into there so if you're in the back grip here uh, thumb lands perfectly on the jimping um, up here that flipper tab is just a little pointy I gotta say um, I believe this is 9 CR ABCD MOV whatever uh, the letters follow on that so definitely a um, uh, very budget uh, steel but uh, the action seems to be pretty good to go on these. Um, I like that you can middle finger flick that. Maybe the stone wash just has too much. No, I can do it. All right. It's just a little slicker with the stone wash. So, um, yeah. But uh, I can tell right off the bat uh, that this is definitely a Ferrum Forge design. Um, it just, it looks like a Ferrum Forge, in my opinion, and I don't have my Ferrum Forges out here in the garage to really correlate that, but um, you can definitely uh, see their design language in it. Uh, these are coming in at, yeah, see, 
I accidentally ordered it two times. Uh, but these are coming in at uh, forty three thirty five for the uh, black wash micarta, and then forty two dollars for the G ten uh, variants. So definitely uh, very uh, budget friendly. Is it going to be worth the forty two bucks? Um, I, I I think so. Um, I don't have any problems with these knives uh, right off the bat. Nothing is uh, popping out. Um, looks to have come uh, completely centered there. Um, uh, I assume that they're sharp. Let's. Uh, do I have any uh, paper handy? Um, here's some. Yeah. Yeah, they're. Uh, these are wrapping uh, labels, but you know, I'd say that uh, you know, coming in pretty sharp. So uh, that's always a plus, right? You want your knives to arrive uh, with a good edge on them, and they appear to be uh, completely centered on these. Um, yeah, uh, this is a good, I would say, a $42 knife. Um, let's see, it doesn't seem to be as pokey for some reason on the stoned wash version. Maybe it was just the way I was choking up, because now I really don't feel it. But Ergo's, it's, it's a little thin, uh, for sure. So uh, I guess I should say these are a uh, steel liner lock. Uh, it doesn't appear to be any internal milling. It's already pretty light as is, though. Uh, loop over, uh, deep carry pocket clip. Uh, with a uh, spot for a lanyard, uh, G10, I'm going to assume that's a G10 backspacer, uh, T6, T8 uh, hardware on it. Yeah, not bad. Um, I guess uh, outside of the Civivi Odium, Ferrum Forge doesn't really play in the budget world. Uh, you know, having uh, sub $50 knives is kind of what I... Sub-50 is right around what I consider uh, the budget, and budget is relative to everybody's budget, but I think 50 and under is a good uh, start for the budget uh, category. So yeah, they don't really play in the uh, budget world too much, so it's nice to see them uh, doing something with a send cut. Uh, obviously, they do a lot with Wii, uh, which translates over to Civivi and uh, Sencut. So, yeah, uh, this is a nice, uh, worn, cliffy, sheep's footy type blade. I guess it's more sheep's foot than worn cliff. But, yeah, I'm going to do a uh, hardware swap on this, and um, that'll be my, uh, uh, I guess, my, my budget go-to. I'll do that right now real quick, actually. So... Uh, abracadabra, alakazam. Boom. Look at that. Uh, that didn't take me too long at all. Probably less than five minutes. Very, very simple construction, as you would expect. But now, uh, that's exactly, uh, the pocket knife that I would want. Um, I like, I didn't notice as I was taking it apart, but the, uh, the top scale, uh, is shadow box slightly uh, over the liners. And then also, uh, I didn't realize, uh, initially, but, um, the pocket clip is not recessed into the, uh, scale. Um, but they are flush fitting screws. I will say that, uh, all the Civivis that I've had now, uh, send cut, I have to assume that they're the same hardware, even though they use T6, they use these flush fitting T6 screws, and they're always done really well. I don't think I've ever uh, stripped out a, a Civivi uh, T6. And I've done a lot of disassemblies on Civivis from all the elementums I've modded and everything. So, uh, yeah, got no problem with that. But now, um, yeah. So, I guess if you want this variant, you got to buy two. Um, that is a downside. But, uh, you know... Um, I got something to give away now, and, uh, these other two, I don't know if I'm going to return them or use them as giveaways. Um, it's probably more of a hassle to return them, so, I don't know, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, 
Nice job, uh, Ferrum Forge. Um, not uh, too shabby at all. Uh, there you go. You see the 9CR18MOV right there on the blade steel. Didn't notice that initially. But, yeah, uh, I got no complaints about these knives. Uh, done very well. Um, jimping's in the right spot. You know, a uh, nice choil that's not sharpened all the way to the edge. So you're not going to, you know, stab yourself or slice yourself like I am doing uh, with the Pocket Monster. It's got such a crazy point right to the very edge. But you get a full sharpened length there, but um, when you choke up, it's wanting to slice me. So I like uh, that little uh, touch there. But yeah, uh, I'll put a link in the uh, description. Um, it'll actually be uh, Mattis Faction's link. I've been using his Amazon affiliate code. So yeah, um, that's all I got for you folks. Uh, let me know what you think. Is this something that you guys are interested in? Um, or am I just such a uh, Ferrum Forge fanboy that uh, these suck and I'm just saying that it's good because it's Ferrum Forge? I don't know. Could be both. Anywho, I appreciate y'all tuning in. And until the next one, I bid you mofos a deuces.